So I had a few comments from some people about how horrible the uh, gameplay looked on the recording. So I thought I might give you a example of what externally recorded video would look like. So here I'll just bring up CSGO. Alright, let's just head into a casual match with bots, my favourite map, Agency. Alright, auto select. And I forgot to turn off VSync. Hang on. And we are back, and that is not really all that much better, but oh well. And I think the settings have been turned up again. No, they are all on very low. Okay. So as you might be able to make out in the... Oh. Alright, so as you might be able to make out in the top right corner, the FPS, running at about 64 right now. There is a slight amount of input latency. I think that's to do with... VSync, I'm not too sure. And the GPU is really the limiting factor in this case, because you might be able to see up there that the that's GPU load, it's pretty much pegged at 100%. And unfortunately, I don't think there's no way to overclock or really do much of anything with this thing, as the BIOS is totally totally locked down behind a uh, passwords, which is probably a good thing from a manufacturer standpoint, but really annoying for everyone else. Oh, it looks like it's running on it. <laughs> so yeah, let's turn down the resolution, see if it improves much. Turn it down to 1280 by 800. Try that. Alright, and that is a whole lot smoother. Well, a slight amount of stuttering, but it is running at over 60 FPS constantly on lowest, on like all low settings. And the GPU usage is under 100%. So I think in this case, it might actually just be CPU limited. Since the CPU usage over here is a little bit high. Let's see what uh, the RAM usage is like. Oh, it's actually a lot lower than I was expecting. It's only running using 3-ish gigabytes. Wow, that's not too bad. So if you're alright with running CSGO at... 1280 by 800 since I uh, well 720p since I've got a 16 by 10 monitor it's 1280 by 800 you you might be all right with this little Atari box and yep I'm not a CSGO master let's have a look at a different game that hopefully plays a little bit better Right here is Portal 2, running with all medium settings and no anti-aliasing, which is a pretty reasonable setting, I think. Alright, here we are, and this is running incredibly well. You might be able to see up in the top right corner there, the FPS is 120 
This is incredibly good, far better than I was expecting. And the GPU load is pegged at 100%. So once again, the GPU really is a limiting factor. And you might be able to hear, that's the fan. It's a very reactive fan. It ramps up and down very quickly. There we go. That's portal for you. Portal 2 even. So I can expect you can expect that to be incredibly playable. No complaints from me. At native resolution too. And here we have Half-Life 2 is the Lost Coast tech demo of it. And once again, the fan is going crazy, and the FPS is in is close to the hundreds. And I think I've got very simple. Oh, that's quick yet. I think the video settings are pretty similar, medium, medium, high ish. Same with motion blur because it's stupid. And once again. GPU limited, pegged at 100%. Alright, here's a game that I didn't show last time. Uh, City Skylines. It seems to be struggling a bit loading in. Uh, let's see. Oh, it is not very responsive. Uh oh. I suspect there may be a RAM limitation with this thing since it has does have 8 gigabytes of RAM but 2 gigabytes are portioned off for the graphics so you're only left with 6 gigabytes which I don't really think is enough for bigger games like this so if you are going to get one of these for yourself, I would seriously recommend an upgrade to 16 gig. I am going to have to forcibly restart this back in a sec. And yes, you do have to do that whole mashing escape and selecting the boot device every time you want to boot into Linux or Windows or if you hate yourself. Alright and we are back and I think I might show you a game that I didn't show before Minecraft. I can't believe I didn't show this before. And this is running at native resolution, just all default settings, all default. I think it's running 8 chunks, render distance, I'll make a new world. That one was horrible. Alright, here we are in the game. Let's have a look at the Video settings looks like we're at 12 chunks. Uh, fancy, all the really nice settings. 
so this is really nice settings and there is a bit of input lag but I think that's just because the world's generating this is a little bit better oh auto jump why is that on turn that off and so up there might be able to see that it's getting oh just dip down not too bad frame rates getting up into the near hundreds at times dipping down a bit so i'm sure if you installed something like optifine this is this would be a a really nice minecraft machine 100 ish 90 80 60 I'm sure if you turn down the frame rate cap to like 70 it could really easily keep that fairly stable apart from a few dips now and again and I can't see some stuff in the top so I'm gonna have to break a tree so yeah you might be able to see up there that it's I've only given it two gigs of RAM but you, you should you probably should give it a bit more just in general and so yes this is is with the Ryzen embedded 1606 G with inbuilt graphics on Linux not too bad and here's a personal favorite game of mine Mount Blade Warband Let's go for a custom battle. 150 men aside. And siege defense. And as you might be able to see, this is running incredibly well. This is an older title with very incredible graphics but we're getting a very stable above well, we're getting above 70 and as you might and yeah the gpu is the limiting factor here again as well as the cpu actually it's spiking up pretty high but no this is incredibly playable i would have no problems my aim is really bad today I stand corrected. Hang on. Let's try and get that. Are you sh take that? So yeah, this is with 150 men aside. Nice and smooth almost always above 60 and I think this is reasonably high settings high settings there we go very comfortable I don't think you'd have any problems in the later game at all and I just tried to let's have a look at some hand-to-hand -hand combat and I'm being shot at. Come on. I am. There we go, there's one. Take that. And now I'm just playing Mountain Blade. Anyway, I always forget. Press tab. Oh, I died. Anyway. So as you can probably see by the frame rate you're getting and the type of games you're getting that frame rate in the kind of level of performance this thing is so it's not amazing but it's it's half decent I mean for the 199 that I paid for it 199 US it's it's a nice little machine it does it works it plays games what more do you want all right, I think that's all I have to say. Merry Christmas, everyone.